Hi there, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered right here. Before we get into some NFL divisional playoff action for this weekend, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to this VIP club section, which has everything you need to make your picks. So let's take a look at the games here. We're down to eight teams left for a chance at the Super Bowl. We're going to get a look at the first game right here. So we see here. Jacksonville and Kansas City. If you look at the odds chart here, Kansas City is a huge favorite, 1.21 to 4.26 odds. You can see that translates to a point spread of 8.5, and the over-under is set at 52.5. If you see here on the percentage chart, you see Kansas City 82%, Jacksonville 18%. Um, if you look at this, both teams are burning hot at the moment. Jacksonville has won their last six, and you can see Kansas City has won five out of their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see Jacksonville over in their last game, then three games under previous to that, and Kansas City under in two of the last three. Okay, if you look at the score prediction, it looks like we're looking at a tight one here, 26-20 with confidence of 67.5%. But let's take a look at a few more things. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator chart, you can see here that the trend is an upward line for Jacksonville, a sharp upward up to plus 25, and Kansas City has been on the slow increase since uh, December 11th, where they were plus 24, and now they're at plus 29. If you take a look at the stability factor, you will see that Jacksonville is very inconsistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at minus three, while Kansas City is very stable at plus 10. Let's take a look at the movement in the line, if there has been any. If you look at the movement here in the line, uh, right there, you see right there is a sharp move detected against Kansas City. It moved from 1.21 to 1.23, but now it's back to 1.21. So in the end, I do like this to be a Chiefs win in a game going over the line. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. New York at Philadelphia. You can see here that New York is average. They are 3-3 three and three in the last six. And you see this one on the other side. Philadelphia 1-2 uh, and two, and then three wins. That's 4-2 and two over their last six. You can see the odds are in favor of Philadelphia. 1.26 to 3.760. It translates to a point spread of 7.5 with the over under set at 47.5. Okay, you see the percentage for, for victory, 82% for Philadelphia, 18% for the Giants. If you look at the over under, though, you see that Philadelphia has been under in three of the last four, while the Giants have been over in three of the last four. So something has to give there as far as the over under goes. If you take a look at the conference in the prediction of Philadelphia winning 34 to 19, it's at 73%. And the power ranks indicator shows Philadelphia is steady at plus 26, while the Giants are at plus 19. The stability factor, Philadelphia is consistently more uh, stable, meaning they're, they're performing more consistently with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 13 compared to plus 2. Uh, Philadelphia won the first two meetings between the teams this season. The big thing is going to be the health of Jalen Hurts. If he is at near full strength, it should be a pretty easy win for the Eagles if he isn't that near full strength. But if not, you know, it's a totally different story. We'll see how that goes. But I think that the Eagles will win this game. But don't be surprised if the Giants cover. Okay, the next one, Cincinnati and Buffalo. Here's two teams that are burning hot coming in. If you look at the streaks in the last six games for both teams, just a bunch of W's on the board for both teams. So Buffalo is a favorite, though of 1.41 to 2.868, which translates to a line of 4.5 points over unders at 48.5. You look at the percentages up here, 62% for Buffalo, 38% for Cincinnati. A score prediction, if you look at that, it's 33 for Buffalo, 20 for Cincinnati, and the percentage is 91.7%. So let's take a look down here at the power right syndicate. If you look at this, you can see that it's almost dead even at Buffalo at 30. Uh, Cincinnati at plus 29. The volatility oscillator, the stability factor, both teams, you see an upward climb as far as the consistency goes. They've both been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the movement in the line, if there has been any. The line started at 1.45 in favor of Buffalo and now is at 
one. I think Buffalo has the momentum. You know, they just got everything going right now. I think this is going to be high scoring. Go with Buffalo to win and cover. Okay, if you look at the last one on the chart here, it's Dallas and San Francisco. Um, San Francisco comes in burning hot winners of their last six. Dallas is 4-2 and two over their last six. If you look at the odds, it's 1.51 to 2.542. Uh, Percentage-wise, you see San Francisco 65% chance of winning to Dallas is 35%. Um, the over/under is at 46.5, and you see that San Francisco is a three and a half point favorite. But if you do look at the over/under, you can see Dallas has been under in the last two, although over in four of the last six. San Francisco was over in five of the last six. Um, the score predictor has all San Francisco 37 to 10 confidence of prediction is almost 87 percent i don't think it's going to be that big of a spread but uh, let's take a look at a few other things if you look at the power ranks indicator you can see san francisco the plus 38 have been a, on a consistent increase since uh october the 30th once they started their big winning streak in dallas is at plus 23. um if we take a look at the let's take a look at the line see if there's been any movement in the line you see right here, there is a sharp line moved against San Francisco. It was at 1.51 at that point, and then it made a sharp decline. But now you know, see it back up to 1.51. So I do like San Francisco in this one. I think this is going to be a 49ers win at home to cover, but I would pass on the over under line since they've been trending on opposite sides. Okay, there you have it for the games for this week. Happy betting, and we'll see you.